All right, everybody, welcome back to Doken What. Doken What, as most of you don't know, I'm actually having a lot, I have a lot of fun with this Doken What. It's fun to see these units and be like, ooh, this unit's good, this unit's trash. Or that unit's already trash, and this one's even worse. But, uh, we still can't get anybody else on here, so unfortunately, I'm stuck with my dear friend. Virus, are you there? Oh, thank you. How kind. <laughs> but, uh, welcome, Virus. You ready to see about some new units we got on JP? I know. These brand new little midgets. Yeah, I was, I was honestly, ex wasn't expecting this. I was expecting, I mean, I thought we were gonna, I've, I heard that uh, we were supposed, supposedly getting Bio Broly, so I was thinking another dual Doken Fest. Immediately the thing that scares me though is that they usually have an LR after like a Dokkan Fest. There's like a legendary summon. I don't want to see that green face on a top summon. Man. Are you telling me you do not like Bio Broly as a thing? It is one of the worst movies, and you cannot even deny that. I didn't it's say tough. movies. I did not say movies. I mean Bio Broly as Bio Broly. <sighs> I like we have he we don't have a good unit of him. It kind of disrespected the old Broly too. Like, hey, you're in this monstrous beast. Uh, he looks like the Swamp Thing from freaking DC now. Like, oh, lovely. Or Ocean Man. Take me by the hand. Take um, me to the land. Okay, before we get off into, but truly, let's we, we can talk about that later. Just because we have stuff to, we have actually important stuff that we know about to talk about. Exactly. So I'll let you uh, talk about our first unit. Who do we have up first, Virus? Uh, the brand new two little kids themselves. A physical unit of all things. The tiny Super Warriors, Super Saiyan Trunks, and Super Saiyan Goten. And these guys come with a brand new category. Prodigal Warriors. And frankly, I haven't seen the category, but... I mean, would Vegeta be on there? I mean, I would assume Vegeta's would be Trunks's. It could also be um those that have good potential. So, Kid Trunks doesn't Frieza also have prodigies? That's the link. Yeah, he uh, he some Frieza's do. I don't know if all of them do. So I think those might be on there too, because I think it's just anybody with prodigies on there. And then Gohan's. Young, yeah, so I'll Gohan's. explain goats in here too. So then Prodigal Warriors category or Kamehameha category key plus 3 and HP attack plus 170 and defense plus 130. I'm happy we got another Kamehameha lead. I love the Gohan, but I'm happy we got another one. I've seen one. people complaining about the 130 lead. You want to know what's really funny that you could actually make these guys even better with? Hmm. It's another duo, Gohan and Goten, Go Bros. You can run them on their Super Saiyans and they'd be phenomenal. Interesting. All right. Their super attack, a double Kamehameha. Say that three times fast. Raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. When it turns into the unit super attack, which the condition is it activates when there is another ally attacking in the same turn whose names includes Trunks Kid or Goten Kid or Krillin is on the team. And I like that. I like how they didn't just make it Krillin. <laughs> and... It greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and raises allies' attack by 30% for one turn. I, okay, this is going to come out a little late. Just be, It's completely my fault that this is late. I've been helping some people get ready for some stuff, and I just got home about two hours ago, and I've been gone for like three days. So this, yeah. so info on this, even Virus agrees it's my fault. The info on this has been out. And one thing that I'm actually trying to have a... I'm, I do not know on this... Uh, Unit Super, because it says ally attacking the same turn who includes Trunks Kid, Goten, or Krillin on the team. I watched the video of their original showcase where it does not have to be, the unit does not have to be on the same turn with them to get the Unit Super. Yeah. However, a thought... They just have to be on the team. Well, a thought crossed my mind just because it's, um... Because it says whose name includes... Another ally. Never mind. So if you, uh, I was thinking that these yeah. guys activate their own unit super. Nah, maybe. I, I think it would also do the if your friend leader was them. I think it would work. Yeah, that. I mean, because originally I was thinking because that, that name includes that because that's like with um tech Super Saiyan Two Gohan. How he needs a movie hero Goku. Mm -hmm. Well, funny enough, the physical transforming Gogeta. Super Gogeta, he works because one of those names in there is Super Saiyan Goku, right. and it's movie hero. 
So I yeah, actually think you're right about that. They could trigger their own freaking thing. Well, that's what I was just thinking. Like, if he just had these guys on a rotation by themselves, like literally just them, they would act like their own unit super. But then I saw another They would have to have... Yeah, no, they would have to have themselves as the friend leader for them to do that, not not just them. Could you imagine? But it's we... easy, though, and you, you are going to need a Goten and Trunks because, I mean, they're hybrids. They're going to need those links. Yeah. Now, what about our passive? All right, it's fighting kids. Lovely. <laughs> attack and defense plus 150% when launching super attack. A great chance of an additional 50% to attack and defense. And a great chance of an additional 50%. Key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 10%. And chance to evade plus 7% whenever an attack is evaded. And it maxes up to 3 key, 50% attack and defense, and a 30% chance to evade. This These guys are like a mini Gotenks. Like from Golden Week. Uh huh. I like that. I think this is what three hundred, just based off the passive alone. Uh, let's see, fifty, fifty, one hundred, two fifty. Yeah. And one thing I just That's realized insane. with their passive, the uh, the stuff. I thought it only lasted for the turn. So after they get, basically, their you do not want to build this unit with dodge. And virus is about to explain why here in a minute. But I thought this only lasted. I'll let you go, and then I'll... No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Because <laughs> originally what I thought this was going to be was like um, a, like, like uh, Vegeta and Nappa, where if they get that dodge, it's only for one turn. Yeah. That's what I was thinking this unit was like, but now that I'm actually looking at it, I like I said, I thought it was for one turn, they get it, and it's like, why on earth would they give themselves a 30% chance to dodge when they literally dodge already? And we haven't talked about that. So basically making it higher, so like it'll be very rare in the beginning, but the more you go, it'll get more average. Well, it's base it's yeah. Well, what's this active, then we can actually talk about what I'm meaning. Oh, rascally boys. And the condition is it's able to be used once three turns or more have elapsed from the start of battle, and there is a character attacking in the same turn whose name includes Trunks Kid, Goten Kid. Or, or go tank it, but it's only once. And it gives you six key, and you get a 100% chance to dodge enemy attacks. And that is good. And that's why I was trying to figure out, like, why on earth would they add another 30% for one turn of guaranteed dodges? And then it clicked, oh, after they do it, let's say if they dodge two of them, they'll have a 14% chance to dodge. It's not the best, and then it'll just stack up to 30. That's honestly a really unique way to build the unit. I like that, yeah. Like, they have to, in order to activate their full passive, Unless you're truth and you add oh, three dodge, then um, <laughs> I've seen so many videos of the guy of him talking about how three dodge is the best thing. It's like it's good, but not for this one. No, you this, would. This one's meant to be just built normally. Basically, no, once you do that active, their passive is going to start building. Mm -hmm. The fact, the full passive, and that's that's a weird way to do it. But I really like these unique units. It's like. I don't know if you heard that, but it looked like a biker gang just drove by my house. <laughs> I heard that buzzing. That was a freaking motorcycle. That's the truth rolling up on you. I mean, I'm going to look out the window and he's good. Have you played Little Nightmares 2? Oh, all right. Have you seen anything in Little Nightmares 2? I've seen bits of it, yeah. Little Nightmares 2 has a lady called the teacter who has a neck that stretches like Elastigirl's body. Oh. God. It is the nastiest thing ever, and I'm imagining him, this Truth's face, stretching up with a neck like that up to my two-story window. It's like, all right, dude, you're about to die. <laughs> but anyway, truly, I like this build of a thing. Basically, you can have them good, but then you also have an even better chance once they have their active skill. I wish they could have it yeah. used more than once. Like I like the categories they're on, too. Like, did they can vary. Join forces is still kind of needing to be built up more, but hybrids, prodigal, movie heroes, youth, super saiyans, and kamehameha. Yeah, which is also always weird to see Trunks doing a kamehameha. But you know what? Ah, you know what? That's fine. They, he grew up in the era where uh, he was raised by Piccolo, probably kind of like Goten. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and Busaga definitely too. But then that wouldn't make it. Well, he probably learned it from Goten. 
Yeah. Or Kame Kame. But then Kame. Goten doesn't even. Yeah, Goten doesn't even know it properly. It's Kame Kame Ha. Kame Kame Ka. It's like faster but weaker. Yeah. <laughs> it's like um Boruto's Rasengan, vanishing Rasengan. Ugh, don't even get me started on that. But Since like I... someone important just died. Nah, no spoilers. I I know who <laughs> dies, but I truly I really like this build of a unit. I kinda want more units like this where they are powerful as is, but you actually actually have to have a, an active skill to make to completely bring out the unit. Like like it's not just an active that's just there like oh if i want more power i'll get it no if like it's not just something you can shrug off if you actually want the power you have to go through the steps to get it and then once you get it it's like wow wait it's, a minute it's kind of like you why like awaken something it's like like why turtles is passive active skills kind of one of my favorites just because of once he gets max key another part of his passive is active and you can use his 24 key max key thing twice in a battle so you can always get it. You can get his full passive twice, and that's just based on passive. So a situation it's like kind of. I feel like this started ever since year five, though. When you think about it, because remember how if you use the uh, Gogeta's active skill in the third spot on the rotation, then your your full passive would kick off once you move through the first slot. Yeah, and you'd be an unstoppable unit. Yeah, I I, I know. I love that. That's fun. But I don't know if that's actually. I, I really it's... liked how they're doing this. But yeah. I truly li I'm impressed with this. How about the Krillin? The Krillin? Do you want to read that? I got the Krillin. Oh, he's a Savior's lead. Krillin, Forefront of Courage. Savior's category key plus three and all stats plus 120%. Interesting. Uh, Did he really save them? <laughs> I don't remember the movie. I know he just came. Yeah, he... Like... he if I remember right, he did technically save them because it was 18... Uh, se Kr not Krillin, 18 Goten and Trunks who were there, and then Krillin's like, ah, 18! Ha! And then that's literally all he did. Raises, de <laughs> raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. Okay. Attack and defense plus one. Oops, sorry. Were you about to say something? No, 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 no. Go ahead. Attack and defense plus 120. Superclass allies key plus two and all and stats. Uh, attack and defense plus 30%. Gains an additional 120% attack and reduced damage received by 30. And grants an oh, holy cow! And grants an additional key plus two and attack and defense plus 30% if there's an ally whose name includes Goten Kid or Trunks Kid attacking in the same turn. Reduces damage received by an additional 10% when all superclass allies crit chance plus 10% if there's a movie boss's category enemy. One, dude, that's, that's a freaking can hit hard like two seventy. One, that's a freaking book that I just read. Uh, yeah. <laughs> two, basically, he's very defensive. Like looking at, he's. I say very. He's defensive. Well, if it wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah. I, if it wasn't for the reduced damage, he wouldn't be as tanky. That's the thing that's making him extremely tanky. If you look. The thing is, he would be such a hard hitter if that Supreme wasn't there. If it was, like, immense, then, yeah, that would change a lot. Well, it makes sense because... from what I'm seeing, he can reach 270. Because if it's 120 plus 120, and then an additional 30% there. See, 240. 240. Yeah. And then with the freaking crit, bro, he's an amazing supporter too. Uh huh. So this is actually a really good one compared no, he, to what we last got, like Zongia and all that. No, he hits higher. He'll go higher because of his own support ability. So say I wonder you, how much he hits for. Because say if you run him on his normal team, let's say if you run him on this new, uh, is he on this? He's not even. He's not even on the new category. But if you run him on this part of the old slash coming, <laughs> why out. is he? What prodigy is he? He's a prodigy of the bald. He was bald forever, <laughs> and then finally grew hair. <laughs> but anyway, if you look at it, he, he since he has a support in there that thirty percent, and then the additional two. If you have the go ten and trunks, he's hit. That's three hundred percent attack. Jesus. So I'm probably expecting him to probably two point six ish, probably on a. Even if without the Goten or Trunks there. Oh, but I see why he works on the team either way. Because he's on Kamehameha, so he's still getting that. So that's why they made them do both. Mm -hmm. So it supports your Krillin if you want to bring him in there. Yeah. It'd be... 
I mean, truly, like I said, I, before you and I talked about this, I like the... Uh, I've heard people saying we now have a good Krillin. Prime Battle Krillin, though he's a grind, is a good unit. I like the Prime Bra Battle Krillin. He's probably my favorite yeah. Prime Battle. Screw the Trunks and the Frieza and the Goku. I like Krillin. But, honestly, the best situation for him, I'm thinking, is his going... But it'd probably just be his more so supporting thing because one, we have a good Ka Kamehameha support because I was talking about it. We do not have a true just support that actually works for the Kamehameha, like unless you just. Yeah. So now we have a super class for the Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. I think the only support that I can never think of using would be the Goku and Gohan from yeah, the free to play ones. And that's just a Goku family support. Then you have the Xeno Goku, yeah. which is a Goku family support. So now we at least have, like, I think it was, I was talking to one of our wins, so I was griping at Will that we need a support unit in the Kamehameha. We now have it, because can you imagine this guy on rotation now making um, Gogeta blue and Vegito blue hit even harder? Jeez, wait. If Goten and Trunks are on the team, it, oh, no attacking in the same turn, so he'd be missing that, but he's still buffing either way. Yeah. Is that, wait, is that for him, or... I thought that was. Is that support more support, or is that just more for him? The That's addition... for him. Okay, That's that... for him. I think. I was about to say because it that... says just keep us to an additional thirty percent if there's an ally. Yeah, no, it doesn't say support. Okay, that's what I... I was about to say. It, my dyslexia kicked in for a second, so I thought the superclass allies was right next to it. So I was like, "Wow, <laughs> that's not the dyslexia battle." <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, no CAD battle. <laughs> Just Goku struggling to read a script. Uh, uh, all, all, all right? You mean uh, Ukog? <laughs> uh, let's not go there now. We're not making Dragon I, Ball D evolution. I'm allowed to make. I'm allowed to make somewhat fun because I actually do have dyslexia. But see, I'm actually looking through the supports on there, like the Kamehameha category. And we really do not have a whole bunch of sports. Like, I'm looking at one that is the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Goku that comes from those, the Piccolo, Gohan, and Goku summons. Those free, that free SSR you get. Oh, the one that awakens with hero extermination medals. Yeah, he is a 2 key and 20% attack support, but only if HP is above. Let's, let's keep looking. Uh, yeah, that's why he's not the best one. The best ones are the physical and tech one, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like him just because of his immediate super. No, technically uh, you yeah. have um, Pan. Physical Pan's on the category. She's 2 key and 30%. No, she's just 30% attack. You mean the and one defense. that's kicking? Yeah. Oh, that one. That's when freaking Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta first came out. Everyone was using her. So if you look at this, this is actually the best support because it gives key and as much stats as... Um, the pan, because the pan with 30% attack and defense, if we and they also have units like the um, GT Golden Great Ape Goku, but he doesn't give key. Yeah, but every time they get hit, it feels like you only have attack and defense plus 30%. Yeah. But, uh, honestly, he's gonna be very well on the Kamehameha team just for support. Then you have some free-to-play units, but that's... I never thought a Krillin would link up well, but these links are actually pretty decent. Mm-hmm. And a new turtle school, number Ooh. two, for Roshi to have fun with. Yay, turtle school! Something we don't have! <laughs> Not yet. But honestly, so far the first two units, the banner units, I really like. And then we're about to go into the fun stuff, because now we got three, three more easy A's after we just got like 15 easy A's from year six. These guys are going ham. <laughs> You want me to say the first one here? Yeah, you want to start off on 18 for us? Yep, this old SCR 18. I can't imagine how many times I've sold her or used her as SA food. Um, I don't think I've ever got her. I don't like her. Attack and defense was 100%. Gain an additional 100% attack when launching a super. All allies key plus 3. And attack and defense was 30%. And gain 18% critical hit chance. And damage reduction if there's an ally whose name contains Trunks, Kid, Goten Kid, or Krillin on the team. That's amazing support, but that's if they're on the team. And 
The super I, attack. I, I don't know if that makes it that great. Super attack also raises attack and defense for six turns and causes supreme damage. But so this is on Goresh's uh, Twitter, just because he's the, probably the most prominent informational sy- system. Only Goresh. Yeah. So that's why I'm here. But some, but I guess on this one he didn't get it set up like he, uh, the other ones. Looking at her, she's going. She's probably the hardest. I'd say hardest hitter. She's a very hard hitter. I wish she gave her she- so. She is decent for what I've seen because I was looking at somebody. I think his name's Carrie. He like implemented the EZA into the game early, which he he was a bit off. Because I don't know why these modders need to really stop and think about the multipliers a bit more. Because his were like hey for seven million. I'm like that don't seem right, and it was right. It wasn't right because Trunks was seen for like five. Point seven, and then go ten was six point two. Mm-hmm. These are rainbow level ten. Keep in mind. So yeah, she's. Uh, I kind of wish they added as much as they, I wish they added a little more defense. Like it was attack and an additional attack and defense yeah. was one hundred percent on top of that already one hundred percent attack and defense. And her links though is not going to help. Like with at least for getting Krillin, it can help because he has coming up behind. There's just a little bit of links. Yeah, she's like. She, She's with a sh- 18, how are you going to run her on there? The only team I could think of running Trunks, Goten, or Krillin would be movie heroes, but she is not going to do well with Lynx at all. Mm-hmm. I wish I wish we could see some of the Lynx on here, but like I said, it's... Eh. Uh, knowing 18, it has to be Android Lynx. Nothing was different about her. She just did, oh, the Shakto does, woo! Well, I, since I don't have the unit, I can't actually go look at her Lynx unless you happen to have her. Uh, let's pull it up, then. Let me see if I have her. She's super strength. She is an android, too. Unless you want to go ahead and uh, read the oh. other one that we got. Oh, I do have her. Yeah, see, there you go. And there's no way nobody doesn't have her. How do point. I have her with all four paths open? When have I pulled her? It's probably in multis that you were pissed off at you didn't get the unit for. Okay, her links are Android Assault, Battlefield Diva. Twin Terror, Shocking Speed, Infinite Energy, Money, 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 and Shattering the Limit. Yeah, the only link you're going to get from Trunks or Goten, or maybe, not even Krillin, just Trunks or Goten is Shattering the Limit. Uh, the, I mean, the new ones are going to have Fierce Battle and stuff, the new Goten and Trunks and the Krillin. I mean, the free-to-plays that shows. Well, no, they're not free-to-play. They're not even free-to-plays. No, they, they, do have no, they awaken the from the Bio Broly. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they awaken from Bio Broly, so that would be shattering the limit. But she also that's has, it though. She also has shocking speed, and there's probably going to be go- quite a few shocking speed units you'll find you'll use with her. But still, that's a lot of power. She's an android based unit. Yeah, I mean that's honestly but the fact that she is she's limited with the fact that it has to be these three units have to be on there to use her uh, supporting. Granted, well, I think it's one of them, not all three. Well, she still has to use them because our best team is going to be an android team. Yeah, so hey, and I, I guess Trunks, Goten, and Krillin are the best androids now. Yeah, no kidding. And I've talked before <laughs> about the additional crit percent. That is a phenomenal thing. That's why I think, um, like Target Goku could be if, if you give a counter unit on that team could be a very devastating team or on the an android team. Oh, Ever. definitely. Like if you put Super Seventeen on that team, well, Super Seventeen he even gives a crit chance, right? Seventeen percent. He gives an additional seventeen percent. You have that on here. Let's say if you can man- magically get her thing to active, activate. That's an additional thirty-five percent crit on the turn. So if you had a counter unit, let's take if you get a brand new seventeen that has a counter mechanic, counter super attacks. He's going to be an absolute beast because he's getting an additional thirty-five percent crit. You'd want to have him probably built with more additional in a situation like this on this kind of team. Jeez. That's why I like these additional crit units, just because crit is the most powerful function in the game in one single hit. Can't argue with it. It's stronger than super effective. The only thing that's technically stronger is super effective and critical. Because then you're hitting for like a 15 million attack stat whenever you have a 10 million attack stat. Yeah. But I'm kind of... Honestly, I'm disappointed with the fact that her support only works with those three in there. That's why I said I don't like her. Because they, they really messed it up. And I knew they were going to do that because it was like, this is the A-scene from Bio Broly. Yeah. They're going to do it. Fun fact, I didn't watch Bio Broly until these units came out. And then uh, until these like original Bio Broly came out, I was like, whoa, I didn't even know this was a thing. Wow. Do, do you regret it? Broly Slime. 
Do you regret it? I don't dis I I the movie I wa- regret wasting my time, but I still like Bio Broly. Like as a thing, Bio Broly. The, th- the funny thing about Bio Broly and Dokkan is he's got great links. And he has a very unique but, passive. Yeah. But like that passive screwed him over and the fact that he is who he is just screws him over. Yeah, Broly's never shown love. And for those who so, do not know... So, if the- Dokkan does end up making an LR, I really fear they're going to make him a really good giant form. Because that's the thing in the movie. He turned into a giant. Yeah. But, okay, for those who do not know Bio Broly's stuff, Bio, this is uh, his TR, defense plus 100% and attack mi- minus 50% when facing only one enemy. Or attack plus 100% and defense minus 50% when facing two or more enemies. Broly is literally a a very unique unit. I still think he's a very unique unit. Just because of his defensive, with lack of offense, or offense, lack of defense. I was expecting him to get an easy A. Maybe if we do get a part two on this. Isn't this for Saiyan Day, all this? No, this is not saying they from what I know. This is just a random Dokkan festival as of right now. Huh. Interesting. Because they always have a Dokkan festival after anniversary. Basically, for global global players, this Dokkan festival is what's going to be before, right before year six. So oh, yeah. if you're a Trunks and Goten fan out there, and you're really tempting, just try to remember Master Ultra Instincts right behind Trunks and Goats in. So this makes sense, because we and I were discussing about two weeks ago about what they would have to fill the space with, so this would make sense. But yeah, they always do this. Like, I think last year it was a... I forget, actually. Last year they filled our spot with Kefla. I thought because it was, it was Kefla, then it was Worldwide. I thought UI filled up was our slot. We got the thingy. We got UI. Uh, I don't know. We got go. We got Gogeta and Vegeta Blue. Then Kefla came out, and then right after Kefla, oh, it was Boo I, and Vegeta. I thought you meant. I thought okay. I thought you meant before the anniversaries. Okay, that was my bad. So I'm just I'm disappointed with her. Now we can hop over to the Goten. So Goten attack and defense was 100. percent Believe it or not, I do not actually have this Goten. I, want I This was one of the first SSRs I pulled, and I sold him. And I think I got him back. Yeah, people, <laughs> never sell, at least keep one copy of every SSR you get. No matter how bad they may seem, they can get a huge glow up like this one. He gets attack and defense. Oh, that's why I rainbowed my W. Grin album set. <laughs> Uh, he gets 100% attack and defense, gains an additional 100% attack when performing a super attack. Another one of those situations I wish I had a little more defense to it, but I'm sure he tanks pretty fine. All allies attack and defense plus 18 in this, and this unit gains a critical chance and damage reduction plus 18 if there's a unit whose name includes Trunks or Krillin or, no, if Trunks is in the turn or Krillin or 18 are on the team. And he causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for six turns. See, he's better because if you you would need Trunks there because Trunks and Goten link up beautifully. They really do. I think they have like one link they don't share. And you can even run the new unit with these guys, and it'll just be perfect for them. Yeah, like as the name includes Trunks Kid. Yeah, it's nuts that. These units who I'm gonna go look at, like I don't have them, but the uh Phi Trunks, you know, I'll wait and read the Phi Trunks off, just because I do have him. I, I've had him able to get rainbowed, and every time I get him, I just feed one into there. That's to the point so many units. I have Strength Pan. Strength freaking Pan. All four paths open. SA8, and that's only off of Strength Pan. The one that awakens from the Peppy Gal unit, but she's not a Peppy Gal. Yeah, she, I mean, she's pretty peppy. She's just not a gal. I don't know. I guess that's a freaking male under there. <laughs> I, I'm gonna make a joke after we're done with this. But um, <laughs> so physical trunks is basically the same thing, though. Looking at it, only difference is instead of includes trunks kit, it's go tank kit. Yeah. They have the exact same passives. Oh, so that means I can probably. That means I can read the. Um, oh, does this cause supreme damage, raise attack and defense for six turns too? Yeah, they're the exact same unit, just different little condition. 
Okay. Well, here's what the original unit would be then, because a Trunks here is attack plus 100% more performing a super attack. So, that means lack of defense. And if they're both built the same way, I'm pretty sure they're built the exact same way in their yes. before EZA. They both would not have a... They would have lack of defense. And now they give each, uh, uh, each uh, themselves defense and keep their original passive, and that we see i've seen the trunks hit for about like close to six on his first turn and i've seen goten hit for 6.2 on his first turn with support and all uh, the supporting ability is not like the 18 where they it's going to be limited on what you can do because she can literally ran on like two teams where this can actually be used in this kind of situation because you'll have the goten or trunks you're typically going to have a goten or a trunks near them or you know linked up with them so that'll make one that'll make these guys a whole lot better so i think this is a, these are some really phenomenal easy ace i'm kind of annoyed with all these 18 percents though I'm not gonna lie oh, all right <laughs> i don't care how cool 18 is i'm tired of seeing 18 stuff <laughs> there's too many 18s in the game 19 uh, at least it's legal. Let's see. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different 18s in the game. And that's just 18 as herself. And those are just the ones that I have. There's probably another one I'm missing. You know, I think I accidentally sold or used an 18 for SA food. Um, you're in the kimono 18. That was like actually kind of rare. Yeah, that's gone for me. Oh, the tech one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, have her, oh, I have her four paths open. SAT. Jeez, I, I think I, I. This is when I was a very, you know, no, no big brain Dokkan player. I was like, ah, this Holy is safe food. I'm looking at some of these units. Like you have the Bio Broly 18. I have all four paths open. AGL Easy A 18. I have all four paths open. You have t Kimono 18. I have all four paths open. I have Tournament Jeez, of Power. Sounds like Dokkan needs to give us more Kai's so we can rainbow these units. Yeah, no freaking kidding. I have basically every summonable 18 unit with the exception of the Intelligence 18 with all four freaking paths open. <laughs> Except for the World Tournament one, and I didn't realize it was a World Tournament one. I'm kind of excited for her. But, uh, honestly, these are truly... Good units. They're a lot better than I was expect would have expected co coming from. Them. I wasn't expecting the support and all this stuff. Truly, their biggest downfall is the say if you want to run a Goku family, you're not going to be able to run get this uh, Goten and vice versa for Trunks if you want to review his family. You cannot get their full passive just because of the supporting. Eighteen is probably the worst out of the bunch. I would say. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, she was only there for money. Money, money, money. Can't forget that. Can't forget the other two monies. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, if she literally... I wish it was at least, like, Krillin. Not even Trunks or Goten or something. It was at least just Krillin. Because then it, I feel like it'd be a lot better, I think, if it was just a Krillin. We need a Krillin's family. We need a Krillin's family card. In category. All allies. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I really wish that she was didn't have Trunks, Goten, and Krillin the, as a requirement zero thing. That's probably the literally the biggest downfall is they they're very character specific. Doesn't matter how easy it is to get them, that's very character specific, and that can be a problem. And speaking of character specific things, such as, you know, their names. Oh, yeah. From what I hear, Dokkan's about to literally change their game a bit. Let's see if I can find the thing. Scroll, 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 scroll. Nope. From what I know, it's going to be just like Battlefield. Oh. Or you can choose, you know. That's. Okay, if it's like Battlefield, then that's not going to be as bad as I. Whenever I originally saw this, I had. um. I did not like this idea. I'm going to be completely honest. Just like Not a lot of people did. Because, like, I made the joke to you, you can run both uh, Khaliflas now. If this is the case, you can run the TUR and the SSR because it's basically stated that um, as long as it has a different title, like, like I'm looking at Intelligence Future Gohan, 
It says Heroic Warrior. That's a different title yeah. than his SSR state. So that means you can technically Which run... that means future Gohan can be so much better if... Well, you could have already put the physical future Gohan with him, but mm -hmm. they're going to link up now. Well, I mean, they were already... If, if, you, if you put... If you put, um... Let's say AGR Rosé and then LR in Rosé, they would never link up. Same name. But with this update, they're going to link up, and that's going to make freaking LR Rosé, like... <laughs> so much more better than what he was well okay if it's going like battlefield which is i would honestly prefer they do it like battlefield same name units cannot link up i thought they could they could they cannot and you cannot and you, so like say if i've done it before and you cannot have um like suit unless it's literally a completely different unit i mean no you can't even do that because it's still the same character at least my, unless I changed it the first time I did Battlefield, I tried it and I had, um, who did I have? I think I had both Keflas, Phi Kefla in their base form and SSR and TUR, and they could not link. Really? Physical Kefla and base form Kefla? Yeah. I was doing, um, Patara stuff. Because in the first Battlefield, I had no clue what to do, so I was running Patara leads. Oh, that's really funny. That's actually what I did the first time too. I already beat Battlefield. Maybe they did link, but I do remember I cannot have you cannot have like say those two rosés you said. If you had them on run rotation, you know I'll even go hop in and see if they even go do that. I got all the. The rotations. only way the only way you can run them on the same rotation is if it was a friend leader. But with this, you can actually put him on the team. Right, and I. So now I'm hoping they link because that would be so much better for linking. Like, imagine if. Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta got his easy A everyone's wondering about. You no longer have to feel, damn, do I use the new one or the old one? You could use both of them and they would link up with each other and do really well. I mean, I'm not going to disagree in saying that it would be good, but at the same time, I personally do not like this link update. Just because we're, one of my big fears of this game is that we're going to inevitably run it into the ground by doing something very... Not st stupid's not the right word, but very rushed, and see basically just too much. And a situation like this, like I mean, like a full Vegito Blue team. That's exactly what I was thinking. You have Tech Vegito Blue, Five Vegito Blue, uh, Strength Vegito Blue. Those three right there. Well, that's why, from what I saw, Goresh said it's only two units with the same name. Oh, I didn't There's know. a number. I didn't. He said there if there's two, no. but then I started saying that, but people started getting at me like, oh, no, 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 you can run multiple of the thing, which I think it's just only from what I'm seeing and from what I'm theorizing, I think they only mean if you have a UI, you can run another UI, but you cannot run a third UI. Well, that I mean, you can what? only run two, like two of the same. So if you want to do UI UI. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Like, only two of each. Like, two, two, two. You can't do, like, three or four. So, I see Dokkan is trying to prevent that. So, you can't really do a full Vegito Blue team. But from what I'm seeing, there is a cap. And I saw a number yeah. saying it's only two characters that have that same name yeah, can be run on the team. I'm looking at the side now. Just want to clarify, since people want to ask me, but I said two different units in the below tweet just to make clear what I meant. But you should be able to... But you should be able to use... Oh, no. Uh, I should be... What to say? I meant, but you should be able to use a full team of six units that have the same name as long as the titles are different. Ah, uh, that that. See, I hope Dokkan changes that though. But right now, we're still too early to tell. Right, because this is this, this. We don't even have update notifications. From what I know, Global's about to have a nasty seven-hour update. Hmm. Mm, like, is it next Monday? I believe this Monday coming up actually. So, Global players, um, get ready to have some fun. Uh, good thing I play JP on the side. Even JP, I think they're gonna get an update soon. I just don't know when. Oh. Because with a feature like this, of course the game's going to be down. That's like when Link levels first came out. Remember how freaking bad it was? Oh, yeah. Just, honestly, the biggest problem with this, I was saying, is let's say if you do, if it is, you can literally run a full team of units as long as they don't share the same title. So that'd be, let's just put as fun. Uh, final trump card, Vegito, 
You can have physical Vegito's Easy A and, uh, and SSR, which you really wouldn't want to run, but this is just theoretical. Tech Vegito Blue, Easy uh, Unit, and SSR. And that right there is four Vegito Blues. Just, and they're the exact Jeez. same units. I personally would not like that just because it's one going to start limiting units. Because if I can run a team that's literally all Gogetas, why would I run anybody else? You want to know something that's really funny too? Hmm. You can run LR Turles, Turles as you are, and then the AGL Turles as well with this update. <laughs> I mean, it's it'll be fine for some units, honestly. It's not going to be the worst thing in the world, but. It's just, I, I feel like they're trying to push too much. It's a cool concept, but if they really, they need to get this figured out because, and finagle, because if not, this could start to be a downfall of this game, because one, why are people going to sign in for new units if it's not Vegito, or Vegito, or Vegito, or Gogeta? And I might piss off some of your listeners from here, but with this, I really hope, because there's one game that I know that does this, where there is no name limitation, and you can run all the characters you want. You can run a full Broly team, a full Goku team. Legends. And that game is going downhill extremely. And they're only just starting to try to patch up the wound that, that they've created. Yeah. And Legends is going downhill. I mean, extremely. Like, they don't hit top grossing. So the second time they ever hit top grossing was in December when Gogeta Blue came out. That is it. So that's why like they, just... they they don't even make that much revenue as much as Dokkan. Dokkan is literally like a freaking lifestyle in Japan. Yeah, that's why it's got so many commercials. But <laughs> yeah, especially the one with the old lady, <laughs> just bubble popping on the river. <laughs> it's a casual day in Japan. But truly, this like I said, this is cool in theory, but it. I personally would be, I'm personally against it just because of the whole the Vegito thing. The two Keflas. If you have, not Keflas, two Khaliflas. Because they have a dodge chance, 100% dodge chance against two categories. You literally could put them in slot one, slot two. That's literally, let's take if they stack ten times and it's, or let's stick one, three, six, nine, twelve times. You miss nine points of damage, which yes is good, but then that takes away some of the fun. Yeah, and, and which I hope it's actually two characters. Because if it was two characters, that'd be perfect. That that would be better if it was just two, right? Because it, it'd just be a bit more balanced. But you would still have variety. So that that's why when people like I was saying, if you want to run, you could even run physical Omega Shenron if he gets his ZZA with STR Omega. And that's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing links as well. If it was only two, that'd be best. So. And I, if you're surprisingly <laughs> listening, yeah, that's right. Put some pants on. Do, I mean, do this update, right? Nano may have checked out our stuff, so who knows? He did comment, yeah. He did. Like, he was on that? He, huh, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing as of right now. <laughs> but he at yeah, least checked know. it out. He could be watching this like, <laughs> Or he's just sitting there like, man, these guys are idiots. <laughs> that 18 is an amazing unit, Nano. Nah, no. And I was laughing in his seat right now. But truly, the back, I do not want something like this. It, it, like I said, it's fun. I can think of some units. Like One of my favorite overall units is Tex Future Super Saiyan Gohan. I love that Gohan. I could run him with the physical Dokken Fest Gohan. I'm not going to share all the links. That would be perfect link. Well, not perfect because one's shattering, the other one's fierce. But right. you can easily get fierce battle from a good future supporter. Or shattering the limit if you want to prioritize the tech Gohan, which I like doing. Oh yeah, you're right. We do have a free to play one. That would be the freaking the tech or Vegeta, or the freaking physical trunks, aren't they? Don't they awaken with shattering the limit? Uh, yeah, the uh, intelligence EZA trunks. So booyah, yeah, boom. Just um, not intelligence EZA, the physical one, Father Son Galagun. Oh, I was thinking of the uh. Yeah, he'd work too. His supporting will be Yeah, good. because if you put him first, he's supporting, he'll give you the 30, and then you put Future Gohan in the middle, that's perfect. You're getting him way off the bat right there. Why is Future Trunks not part of the Goku family? Because 
He came out of Vegeta's balls. But he was raised by uh, Gohan. Still not blood, I guess. <laughs> okay. Position to make Trunks Goku family now. Future Trunks specifically. Just, just future Trunks. Just for the specifics. Of, it's my father. And then I was like, Piccolo is Gohan's dad. Well, that means Gohan is Trunks's dad. <laughs> He's his dad slash big brother. Father. Other father. Help me save my future. <laughs> father. Other father. Other other father. Who's younger than me? Help! <laughs> Holy crap. That's and also... Weird. That's like freaking two gay dads. Yeah. And one fun thing... Let's see oh, thing two I... and a half men. Gohan's the younger one. Two and a half Hans. <laughs> and... Two and a half Saiyans. And one thing, we don't have much information. I can't even find this stuff. We're supposedly getting a um an EZA for the... Physical go tank. Since we do not have a lot of information on him, I can't find much on him. I'm not. We're not gonna. Yeah. We're not gonna go into super in depth. I'm gonna actually end it with a very slightly in depth thing I want to happen. So I'm gonna leave it here on this Gohan. But uh, I think he's gonna still have his bad defense because with Broly they still kind of kept that because Broly really isn't the biggest tank still, which makes sense. It was part of his passive. Physical go tanks was a terrible tank. Sadly, yeah. he was great with power. Yeah, he's. I he's, feel like they're just gonna make it like they're probably gonna cut that defense consequence in half, maybe, so that he's somewhat usable. But like, I don't know. Let's see. Attack plus one hundred twenty percent, plus an additional sixty percent attack, and defense minus thirty percent for seven turns from start of turn. Thirty percent does not seem like a lot, but considering this unit has no built-in defense, it's a lot. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like they are, and they're probably going to add... Because this unit hits hard. Like, not even kidding. They're probably going to raise it. My guess is uh, 130% attack and, attack and defense, plus an additional probably 70% attack, and defense minus 30%. Maybe. That's probably... Does this Gotenks also have the thing that Tech Gotenks has with the uh, yeah. freaking 10, 11, 12? Yes, his 11 key is monster. I just have him... Uh, just like the tech one, his 11 key, he like massively raises his attack in that one. And hits like a freaking freight train. I know, I was doing Battlefield. I'm like, damn, how am I going to kill Frieza, dude? And I was like, I already lost my strongest tech team with, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. I'm like, he's got like 20% health. I put Gotenks first. I'm like, alright, what's he going to do? I got 11 key. I was like, oh wait, isn't that the stronger one? Mm -hmm. Freaking five million! And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, and this is truly his biggest thing is just add defense to his passive. Then he's going to be all right, even by nowadays standards. Even with minus defense, because he's still going to be hitting hard. Because he's able to hit hard. Like I prioritize, I've got him to about a five million, and I don't have links levels yeah. in him. If I do, it's not much. Eh, threes and twos. I have one, four, and a one. Two ones. So, that's our theories on them. And now for my fun little tangent that I'm kind of getting hopeful for. One of my, fa it's one of my favorite units, non Doken Fest, is the future teen, uh, future Super Saiyan Gohan. And I, 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 I know I've talked to you about him. You and I have talked, he literally just needs more defense and he's going to be perfect. Because he's, yeah. his stacking, great. I have him built with full additionals. He's, he can hit like a freaking truck. And you know what? I kind of have a little like mini theory. I feel like our worldwide celebration this year might be future themed if they do that. So that this event may come out and they'll give him an easy A. And we might get like, I don't know, um, what's a duo that fought here? I a guess go, we could have a future Gohan a transforming trust. cell, like actual transforming cell, like first form, second form, maybe. So maybe uh, perfect form. Because we never had that. And maybe we would have a... I don't know. Maybe a Gohan exchange card. That'd be funny. Can you imagine the animation is just freaking chopping trunks in the throat. He's like, alright, let's go. <laughs> I was originally thinking... Because we, in our second episode of Doken Win, we talked about units we wanted. And I wanted a, tr a Gohan into trunks exchange card. That wouldn't make sense. Because it wasn't like... They did tend to like, partner up. Trunks just thought he was going to go. But too bad. I, do, I don't... Yeah. I don't mean team, I mean exchange. Like the... Uh, yeah. 
uh, Vegeta Nappa. Gohan dies, and then Trunks comes in in Super Saiyan state. It's one of those things, as soon as he comes oh, in... Oh, I would love to see that. It's one of those... freaking clenching. Go on. <sighs> like, what he actually does is it he's going to be the first that has a normal, like, um... It's not, like, like Rebrianne, how she transforms immediately on turn. It'd be something like that. It goes into go. It goes into Trunks, but it'll be... Yeah. But it'll be, um, him walking into the city. His transformation, or it's gonna be him looking at the, uh, walking up to the Gohan. His transformation, which should be voiced, is him transforming. Because as soon as he enters a turn, he transforms into Super Saiyan Trunks. Hmm. So it basically stacks on. Here's, here is, um, exchange, and then immediate change into Super Saiyan. So they should just might as well make it voiced. Yeah. The whole thing, the exchange should be when he transforms. There shouldn't be a separate thing. It should just be an exchange transformation. Like with Gohan and Goku, he literally just says, okay, son, your turn. Got it. Super Saiyan. I know that, but at that point, we and knew... And exchanges can be voiced. I mean, from what we saw, too. The Because remember, Nappa, Nappa's is... um. Yeah. Nappa's is voiced. Both of them are voiced. So it doesn't have to be you actually sliding your finger up. It's just a matter of if they'll put a voice in or not. And so, like, so there would be a voice. Yeah, and that, and plus, at least in the situation of the Gohan and Goku, we know Gohan can go Super Saiyan because even in the card art, he's Super Saiyan. But at this point, we didn't know Trunks can go Super Saiyan, so that's why he'd have to be Gohan into Base Trunks, who transforms into Super Saiyan, just kind of keep the canonical bit of it because we don't know, didn't know he could do that. And so that one would. One, that'd be a very heartbreaking unit. <gasps> yeah, make him a one-armed Gohan that transforms. Oh, no. That, that would, they would need to make it. Yeah, they would have to. Because, I mean, Legends already beat them to it as much as I hate to say that. Yeah, Because I, I really think Gohan should have been the first one to. Even though if you look at the sprite, he's not using one arm. and just. Well, yeah. But then again, with Legends, they're not really a Japanese game. So I think that's what their loophole was. Because there's a law against dismemberment in Japan. Uh, okay, there's a law against showing dismemberment. But if someone doesn't have is missing a thing, it's fine. Like if you look at AGL Namek Frieza, which is not it's not an arm or something, but he's actually missing the tip of his tail because it got cut off. I think it's a bit more of the tip, but yeah. <laughs> it he still has chunks of his tail. He still has a huge chunk of his tail missing. So it's little. I think the main thing I looked at in a situation like this was um. It, animating the sprite to have the one arm i think is what the biggest oh and maybe do it like legends did which looks weird but i guess the good way because they like extended his sleeve mm -hmm. so that it hides the limb entirely and but it's weird because that's the only sleeve that's that long you look at the other sleeve it's like perfectly up you're like excuse me well he doesn't have a shoulder anymore for it to just rest on <laughs> How does arm break again? Oh, when uh, uh, it was whenever a uh, eighteen and seventeen went to go destroy a bit of a town, and Trunks is fighting. Gohan protected Trunks and lost his arm. Oh, uh, stupid kid! And, <laughs> and fun one fun thing I've noticed with the Intelligence of the Future Gohan after he does a super attack and Super Saiyan. Why is there a data download in Legends? This game's literally always downloading something. Um, whenever he does a super attack, he only uses one arm. Don't know if you have him or not, but next time you use him, if you notice, he, he has his left arm, or is it his right arm? Whatever arm he lost, Ooh. Gohan, future Gohan. It's his left arm. Okay. That's why, um, it's funny, Some somebody that I used to talk to when we were making custom units, he's like, I was trying to make a one arm to Gohan with the intelligence future Gohan, and... I ended up realizing my biggest mistake. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, notice his super attack when he hops on the rock. What hand does he blast with? I'm like, oh, that's the left arm. So he's like, dude, I deleted the whole arm and he's just there and he just blasts from like midair. <laughs> just shouting like Nappa. Just, ah, and just out of nowhere, a blast comes from the side of his head. But honestly... But that's, I would think that'd be a cool way to do a celebration because I would personally go ham onto a future Gohan. And that would give them the chance to go to another OGLR, Goku Black and Zamasu. Yeah. Oh, hey, I got 300 Chrono Crystals on Legends. Wow, thank you. 
For what? Just uh, basically maintenance, it sounded like. Oh, I think I know which maintenance it was. All right. But, and also... It's funny. I did a, I did one multi on that stupid Kid Boo banner and got the a dupe of LF UI, even though you... you Anybody that asked me, I hate legends, despise it. They they gave me almost every LF in the game, and I was like, okay. I mean, it's just a time killer for me. That's literally the only thing I, reason I play it. Well, okay. I said I originally got the game just for the one arm Gohan. I'm not gonna lie, and I got my one. Yeah, Gohan. of course. I love future Gohan. He's legitimately my favorite character. Yeah, now he's getting whooped by like the twenty Zenkai's that came out for no reason. You know Especially what? now since the another LF just got a Zenkai, which was Super Saiyan three. Anyway, this is Dokkan. This is Dokkan win, not Legends win. But anyway, I mean, what actually? One of them, one, really quick before we actually go. Do you have stones to summon before we actually do? Before we go for the day? Uh, funny enough, I'm one stone off of a multi. Except I'm very debating whether or not I want to do a multi. I mean, do you? What? I don't know how thorough you are, but I literally, like, Bojack event, I always go get, like, both Doken stage stones. Like the That's super- what I was doing. Hold on, do I have a stone in my box, actually? Because I'm at 49 right now. Buy it. Oh. Buy it. Buy it. Oh, yeah, I have 50. Darn it! Come to the pay to play side. We're not go. We're not going yet. I can I'm really surprised we didn't get an EZA for the uh, LR Gohan and Goten. Not Gohan and Goten. <laughs> for uh, Goten and Trunks, the AGL one during this celebration. Oh, that one. Uh, yeah, because it's funny. Their passive is, I think, somewhat similar to the new ones that just came out. Yeah, uh, let me look because I have them. LRs. I got 56 of them. There they are. Uh, nothing. Uh, key plus 3 to 9 randomly at start of turn. And uh, attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. That is their passive. Jeez. And if you, you don't want to build with any sort of additional, because their first, because their 12 key is terrible. Can lower either attack or defense. You don't want either one of those. That's stupid. I hate this. I hate that that's how they built that unit. Like What banners are out now? Oh, Turles or Bojack. Bojack. Uh, I think it's the uh, 6th anniversary. Well, I still... Nah, not even. I only have just a few months to save. Well, I didn't tell you to do a multi. I didn't do it yet. I'm saying I'm doing a single. I'm on JP because I don't have any stones on my global. I have one Alrighty. Stone. But I really wish they had got an easy eight. Oh, we just got 11 stones. At least I got 11 stones today for something. What, 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 what? No. I don't I check global. Did I? Nope. I don't. I don't know why I got 11 stones then. Maybe, maybe it was a login day or something. Or I already logged. Maybe. Or I already got the stones. But honestly, do you want to do a Doken Watt whenever we get the information on uh, Go Tanks or no? I mean, yeah, it would just be a little quick episode. Like ten minutes. Yeah, the saying is dang, wondering if he's good, but by then, freaking, the truth will already have him in a private server. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we'll be able to get info up a little quicker, because like, a, and I won't be busy, and you won't be busy. Who knows? Who, Who knows? Ha- At this point, I think it's going to happen sometime next week, since that's how they usually do EZAs. Yeah, it's I- announced, so it'll probably be next week. Which yeah. One for global this week, I think. Int Gogeta should be coming out. He comes out on the eighth. No, then I'm wrong. Wait one more week. <laughs> comes out on the on a sunday no on a monday that's what it is because my that's yeah, monday because my birthday is after is a week after sunday oh cool somebody's birthday then i know his birthday's on the eighth yeah are they important uh yes it's an art buddy oh, i thought you were talking about you for a second uh no my birthday's in august Okay, but anyway, thanks all for listening to Doken What Virus. Thank you for being here. No problem. Always a pleasure. 
It is. Because, you know, we're smart. <laughs> and we're doing the what? We're doing the what? Stay tuned for our next number. It is. It is. Also, stay tuned. Virus. I was telling you, uh, I made mention of this. Our big Doken Win thing is coming up very soon. Very soon. This upcoming Monday is going to be uh, yes. part one. Ah, uh, yeah. You split it in the parts. That's when you know it's going to be a big one. Yeah, because the first part is two and a half hours. Okay. <laughs> and we're not even halfway through. Oh my god, what do you mean? <laughs> You're gonna be like Dokkan's anniversary part one, part two, part three? <laughs> Probably. We're pro we're gonna try and record uh, next Friday, the 12th, uh, see if we can get all of it done, and if not, we're gonna have three parts of this. And I'm gonna release these, hopefully, every week. That way it's not like, here's two weeks for our little more opinion. Here's another two weeks for a little more opinion. So, for those out there, part one is coming. I have it ready to go, edited and stuff ready to go. We're going to have part two, and could theoretically be all part two, but I'm not, well, it's still going to be split up into three parts, at least. I'm, at, I'm hoping only three. So stay tuned. And I know one unit that you guys argued about the most. Who? Just you guys in general. Like, if one of you said, oh, this unit, did somebody go, but why? Yes, actually. They tried to argue with me! Which unit? Just name that one unit and we'll end this. Yeah, Vegito. <laughs>